I'm so worried about the election coming up. Do you think that could happen again? No. I don't. I'm shocked I'm saying that, though. <laughs> because in 2020, I was like, no, I'm done. There's no point in voting anymore. Because look at what they did. How can you ever have it fair again? But then Joshua Phillips, I think it was Joshua Phillips from Epoch Times on his Crossroads show was saying just in the last like few days or yesterday, something like, he was saying how uh, what, what the mainstream media hasn't been telling people is that there's been a whole lot of changes to all um, the voting systems. Not, I mean, like in your Democrat cities, probably not, but they're not going to have enough power to pull off. Um, because first, one, in, in 2020, the governors changed a bunch of laws that they had no right to change, like totally out of their lane. But they did it under the emergency powers of COVID. Mm -hmm. So they don't have that anymore. I think that's why Biden's been, uh, you know, uh, the whole time he's been in trying to get the American people to accept our troops going to war is because then, you know, use emergency powers to say he has to stay in office. Like, because... Just think about it. Everything they accuse Trump of, they've all done. They literally have. Trump has never done it, but everything they said he would do, they themselves have done. So, you know, they said he wouldn't leave office, right? They said that about Trump. He's not going to leave. They're going to have to drag him out. No, he left peacefully. He didn't. He never conceded. Why would he? He knows he won. Um. So a bunch, uh, there won't be the emergency powers. A bunch of states and counties have changed it to where no, no more computers, no, none of that stuff anymore that was allowed. Um, and Joshua Phillips was also saying it's really hard to steal something on the level they did. Like, that's why it was so sloppy. That's why in summer of 2020, it everybody with their smartphones was videotaping, you know, dumpsters filled with um, Trump uh, ballots in them. So the mail-in ballots hurt things, but so did many other things like computers and all of that. So he said a lot of that stuff is gone. You just haven't been told about it. Because somebody in his comment section in his live chat had asked the same question. Is there, is there any even hope to vote? Like, and he said, yeah, because a lot of uh, counties in every, every state, many, um, have changed things. So it won't, um, he said the, the amount they had to dump into the system to try to overcome how much Trump won was unbelievably massive, which was why it was so sloppy. And on election night, remember, Trump had said like at midnight, I think, um, he said, yep, we're way up, and he was winning. And then he said, and at 3 a.m. it'll flip, right? Or somewhere along those time, that time, he had said it'll flip. And that's exactly what happened. Like, they had to shut some locations down, right, just so that they could bring in more because there were so many for Trump. And that was 2020. So, no, I, I, I wouldn't be worried about it. I mean, I actually found that I, I, was, I wasn't going to vote. And then I heard him say that, and I thought, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense because, well, yeah, the, these four years were really needed. With, I mean, it sucks for all of us, really. But then Trump can clear the whole, the whole place out because everything they did to him when he gets into office, that's why he said, I'll be dictator for one day. But he'll have all the evidence because... Think about it. All these entities, these private enterprises. What if these uh, three-letter agencies, I'm not saying they're not corrupt. I'm just, I'm thinking outside the box, the very thing that, yeah, we, our private enterprises don't want us to do. Um, that's all I'm doing. But you don't know. Maybe the DOJ is, or even if it is corrupt, when Trump gets in, they have all the evidence of the colluding. So there's no media that will be able to say, Trump's going after the private sector. No, no, Trump's, Trump's doing something about the private sector trying to overthrow the American Constitution by colluding with the government. You're, not, you're just not allowed to do that. And now they have all the evidence. So you needed the four years. You really did. I, I, I don't like it either. I wish we, this was turning around 
this January, but um, you needed it to play out this way. Otherwise, you, those 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 criminals that are in the private enterprise of healthcare and education and all that, they would just get they would just fly under the radar, and they would be the type that then would get. They're like your George Soros. That's who they really are. They'll they just get their people in office, and then the same thing would happen. So it, it really had to be this way, because then when Trump goes in. The, the politicians, yeah, that's an easy, I think that's easy, but he'll be able to go after the private sector. It's all documented with the DOJ. Think about it, because they colluded with them. So there won't be any media that can say he's a dictator. No, they, they committed crimes. They, it's, out, it's on their website. So that's, that's the danger. So it's definitely, I, I'm not worried about that. I, I, I think they will be fair because they don't they won't have the emergency power powers so there will be no mail in ballots. I know Chicago many the, but the blue states that didn't change anything, they won't be able to overcome the states that have changed things. So it's a, it is a big deal. Um Yeah. If, if Trump won so big, and like I think I had heard somebody say way back then that it was like 120 million. That's what I had heard. He, it's definitely not what the media told everybody for sure, but um, because leading up to it, the summer of 2020, I, yeah, there were so many things. People were already gearing for Trump, and now you have a whole bunch more. They're not going they, to, like Joshua Phillips said, and it makes sense, it, they can't overcome that. They can't. There's no way. So um, they could try to pull some stuff, uh, but I don't think it's going to work. And, um, yeah, Trump will be back in, and it just shows how stupid all the people that went along with the Green New Deal are.